Mohamed Morsi, former leader of Egypt, has been sentenced to death. Why? Well, for a number of reasons. One uh, charge in particular that we're going to explain to you here. Uh, now, I, I think uh, that this is a bit of an injustice. I'm not the only one who thinks that. International groups think that. Uh, why? Is it because I'm in favor of Mohamed Morsi, uh, who was the leader of Muslim Brotherhood? No. I uh, can't stand Muslim Brotherhood, have no interest in it. Uh, it was devastating when they won the Egyptian elections after the uprising in Egypt. Uh, and uh, I, I don't agree with any of their positions. I also don't believe we should execute their leader. So let me explain. Uh, the Associated Press explains uh, how this came about. He said defendants in the case were found guilty of conspiring and attempting to kill police officers in the mass breakout targeting three Egyptian prisons, enabling some 20,000 inmates to flee, causing chaos and breaching Egypt's borders with the Gaza Strip. Now, if you really think it's about the prison break and, uh, and the mayhem that ensued, and that's why he got the death sentence, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I, denial is not just a river in Egypt. No, it's a serious story. Okay. The judge also confirmed death sentences for five imprisoned members of Morsi's Muslim Brotherhood, including Mohammed Badi, the group's leader, and Saad al uh, Katnatni, the head of its short-lived political parties, it is inconceivable that I would agree uh, with anything that those three folks uh, believe. Right? Um, I am deeply secular. I am against religion in the first place. Uh, I wish the secular party in, in Egypt had won. Uh, I wish that prison break hadn't happened. I think there should be consequences for the prison break. But this isn't about any of that. The current leader uh, of Egypt, al-Sisi, is a general that basically seized power uh, by throwing Morsi out of uh, office. Now, there was a real uprising against Morsi for legitimate reasons. Morsi had won the elections, that's true, but he had also abused his power in some way. Now, we wish there was a better process for there to be consequences for that abuse of power. But the process shouldn't be a coup. We get rid of you, and then we decide to charge you with a whole bunch of things and then kill you. That's not how a democracy is supposed to function. And I think the way al Sisi is running, Egypt is nowhere near a democracy. To that point, do you know how many death sentences they've handed out since he's taken over? There's been 1,500 mass death sentences, according to some estimates. That does not look like an effective way to carry out the death penalty if you're really interested in justice. Now, more. Judge Shaban al-Shami, who led a panel of three judges, issued the ruling after he consulted with Egypt's mufti, a religious authority affiliated with the judiciary. The court panel has unanimously agreed that there is no room for leniency or mercy for the defendants. Uh, so there's just no room. Okay. Uh, now, on the other hand, they've shown a lot of mercy to Hosni Mubarak, who was uh, the leader of Egypt before uh, Morsi won the elections. Mubarak was a dictator that ruled for decades on end. He's still in prison, but things have gotten much better for him, and he has not had to suffer any death penalties. Obviously, he's still alive, right? So, it seems like this slightly disparate treatment. Why? Because Mubarak and El Sisi were allies, they were friends, they're not going to kill Mubarak. This is all political, and they get a stooge to come on here and say, oh, me, religious leader Mufti, against that religious leader, sure, kill him, right? Obviously, they're in cahoots with El Sisi. He said the Mufti sanctioned the death sentences under crimes of haraba, an Islamic term for banditry, bloodshed, and waging war on God and society. I didn't believe the uh, religious leaders in the Muslim Brotherhood, and I don't believe the religious leaders under al-Sisi. Uh, they explained that the breakout freed Morsi, who had been arrested soon after the 2011 protest started. Now, Morsi's already serving a 20-year sentence for his part in the killings in 2012 of protesters outside his palace when he was still president. Now, I think those are very legitimate charges, and uh, if he got the same uh, sentence as Mubarak did, uh, when they both had there's reasonable arguments to be made, uh, attacked protesters, and protesters died because of that. You give them the same sentence, that's justice. That I would be in favor of, okay? Depending on the circumstances and assuming that they were fair trials. Now, that's not the only charges against Mor Morsi. The same judge sentenced Morsi to life in prison over charges of conspiring with foreign groups, including Hamas. Now, this is the one that is significantly amusing. Did Morsi conspire with Hamas? He might have, but he was the leader of Egypt. When you're the leader of a country, you conspire with a lot of other countries. That's your job. Is El Sisi conspiring with foreign leaders? Of course! He's conspiring with the United States of America because we're allies. So what are you going to do? Are you going to give him a life sentence for that? No, that's total utter horse crap. Okay? They just, 
he is the opposition, they would like to execute their opposition. Again, this is not just my opinion. International Commission of Jurists say that these trials that Morsi faced were, quote, grossly unfair trials. Look, no matter how much we disagree with someone, and in this case, if you're secular, uh, you're not a big fan of Mohammed Morsi and the Muslim brother and how they ran Egypt. It doesn't mean we should be unfair to them. We're supposed to be better than that. Okay? Clearly, so far, the government of al-Sisi in Egypt is not better than that. 